I am a huge fan, Miss King. It's so amazing you're having me on to talk about Old Coder Guy and my new book. You know, it's your movie. It's your book. It's your TV show. We're just really here to help you, dude. So we sent over a proof of our book cover, just a picture of me looking a little, I think, disheveled. So what did you think? That I wanted to friggin' bite the cover and start chewing the paper. That's a strong reaction. That's fantastic. Um, well, then we sent over the sample chapter. But when I got it, I thought, ooh, uh, ooh, I don't want, I don't want that. Uh, okay, well, that's too bad. Uh, were you busy or not really in the right mood for... I was nude. So I caught you at a bad time then. I called over and I said, I just can't believe this is happening at this particular time. I can't, I can't believe it. And she said, that is called Jesus. So what do you look for in an author? Informed, who's engaged, who's funny. Because I, I actually believe that humor is a sign of intelligence. You know, it, it takes a lot to be someone who can make you laugh. Well, thank you, Gail. That means a lot. So you read the sample chapter. Were there any characters that seemed unbelievable or just didn't make sense? Hayden, Colton, Landon, Stetson. Mm, it's pretty much all of them. Is believability important to you then when you're reading a story or watching a show? We almost live in a society now that you can't take anything at face value because they can doctor video. They could take this conversation and switch our heads and it could have me saying, you know, I really like Justin's penis. Uh, who's, who's Justin? And to be honest, the word penis makes me a little uncomfortable. This is another thing I'm thinking about. Are you turned on looking at a picture of somebody's penis? Uh, am I required to answer that? Maybe we should switch to a different topic. Stripper pole. Oh, for fuck's sake.